Hello everybody, it's Trent from LMB Counseling. Thank you for uh, watching and being here for Behind the Door series number 28. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. I want to talk about um, one of our core values um, is, is to develop a process to become your best self. Um, it is internally and externally a core value and how we arrived at it is we believe that if we develop good people, good clinicians, that they will pass that on and develop good clients. And so <clears throat> one of the ways, I actually want to talk about a couple ways that we do that. And, and part of the reason for that is this week is Michael and Kevin's last week here with the practice. They have decided to go out and start their own practices. And so uh, while we will miss them, um, we are very aware that uh, our job, my job uh, here at the at LMB Counseling is just to develop good people, good clinicians, good uh, savvy to run a business and that sometimes they will uh, go out and start their own practices and we are fully aware of that it's part of our flywheel and and want that to happen because that really is translates into helping more people in the community so while we would love our clinicians to stay here forever we are fully aware and it's our intention um, to have them become great clinicians themselves and so they can start potentially great businesses so one of the ways that we do that is um, we do what's called a book club. I want all my clinicians to read, uh, read things, whether it's doing how to be a great therapist or even uh, leadership, culture, uh, business, um, all those different things. So we do a reward system for every quarter. We do our book club um, based upon the books that you read. We uh, provide reimbursements for supervision and your CEU credits because we want them to do uh, things that are challenging, learning continue to adapt their skills and apply that in our own unique way of thinking outside the box. Uh, we, we certainly ask them to do self-care. Um, that's something we ask them to put in their uh, schedule every week. And that's just a time to take clarity. Some of the things that I've talked about in other Behind the Door series, but just take clarity breaks. Um, and, and sometimes that's just thinking, sometimes that may be meditation, yoga, um, but just doing things to take care of themselves. Uh, we do not uh, have PTO. And that's not a bad thing that we don't have PTO. We just don't manage PTO. So if someone needs to take off to have uh, you know, some self-care, if something comes up, or if they're just feeling a little spent uh, that week or, or maybe that month, um, we just encourage them to take that time off. We're not going to manage it. We want them to do that for themselves because we know that if they recharge and they're doing things for themselves, that they're going to pass that along to their clients and provide great care. We also do more um, open book management which is we let them understand what's going on in the company from a financial um, aspect that way they can uh, see how things are run that way if they want to at some point open up their own practice they know how to uh, to do that it's not something unfortunately that we're taught about um, in grad school didn't get one business class uh, finance class anything so um, there's a lot on that side of the ledger that needs to be learned um, and I've had a lot of fortune to have a lot of people in my life that have helped me uh, learn those things. And some of those have been, uh, you know, learning the hard way. But uh, we do the open book policy just so they can understand how, you know, profit, revenue, expenses, all these things work. Um, so when they get out there and you can be a great clinician, but if you don't have good business sense, then it's hard to continue to build a practice and, and stay in business. So that's one of the reasons we do that, uh, to help them and, and educate them. Um, and that just gets transcended out into the community. Uh, if they're doing good work and can sustain it, that uh, hopefully will translate to having um, clients that get better and, and can make uh, recoveries in their lives. Uh, we also do um, something that is profit share. So um, I want all my clinicians to feel uh, tied together and that we work hard and kind of row in the same direction, if you want to use that metaphor. Um, and that way we want to share uh, if the company's doing well, to share those profits with everyone in the company, whether it's clinicians or someone on the marketing team or admin, um, everyone gets to be a part of that. And then the last thing we do, uh, which I think is really important, um, and it's something that we do in therapy with our clinicians anyway, is not to avoid conflict, to be comfortable talking about difficult things. If there's dissenting um, ideas or a different opinion about something, to bring that up. Um, no one is above um, the fold where they don't have to listen to those things. Um, we do that on a regular quarterly um, and then certainly every week to week when things come up. And so it just allows for an opportunity for us to grow as humans 
Um, and then hopefully, like I said, pass that along to our, our clients to help them learn how to deal with conflict. I think there's um, some of the things that we've talked about in some of the other behind the doors that's causing anxiety is that struggle, uh, especially in our young people, to deal with conflict, to have those hard conversations. And conflict is just an opportunity to improve a relationship, improve a situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a negative or a, a win-loss um, when you want to think of it in those ways. It's just learning from other people's perspective and trying to come to some sort of agreement on the outcome. And so that's something that we practice routinely around here as an organization. I think all these things, among other things, it's just ways that we try to um, go about our core value of developing and helping people become their best self. And then um, hope, hopefully we are passing that along to our clients and our clients' families. All right, thanks. Have a great week. And uh, next week, uh, Kirsten will be here to share and behind the door. Thanks.